Yo, what is up guys, it's the AZ Gamer here, and today we have the 11th episode of the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Weapon Guide series. In this video, we're covering the first sniper rifle I've covered, which is the Morris. It's fairly popular in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare due to its exceptional ability at quick scoping and its amazing damage. So let's get straight down to it. Unlocked at level 8, the Moors is a single shot bolt action railgun that uses electromagnetism to fire a projectile at blistering speeds, making it very accurate. The, the Moors is a very strong sniper rifle, often resulting in one shot kills regardless of range. However, this is offset by the weapon's rate of fire, as the Moors must be reloaded after every shot, which is about as fast as regular bolt action. If a backup shot is required, it can place the player in jeopardy. The Moors is, a favorable, is favorable with handling characteristics as there is minimal sway with the weapon. The reload is quick and the scope has a clean reticle. The Moors also cannot be speed reloaded as it is a single shot weapon. Like the other sniper rifles, the Moors reticle is slightly misaligned as the shots tend to land very slightly to the right of the reticle. This won't have major effect at close and medium ranges but can make the player miss a shot at long range. So overall, as a basic rundown of the weapon, the, the Moors is a bolt action railgun that never needs to be re reloaded and it has the best in class handling of all four sniper rifles. So in terms of handling, meaning it's easier to use and stuff. So it's especially since you're locked at level 8, it's more of a basic sniper rifle that is, tends to be really powerful. It's actually the second sniper rifle that you unlock. So the class, yes, it's a sniper rifle, though it is a, actually a railgun, but of course it's classified as a rifle. Unlocked at level 8, the damage is 70 HP. And most assault rifles like the Bolt 27, also the ASM-1 uh, submachine gun, they have 35 HP as their max damage when they're at close range. Meaning, one shot from this gun, from the Moors, is actually two times the power of a Bolt 27 shot close by. And that's just one shot, it doesn't matter what range, because this is a sniper rifle. It could be from across the map, it could be right near you, it doesn't matter. So 70 HP, this is really, really strong. And most of the time you might find yourself getting one hit kills. The multipliers for the damage though, on limbs like arms, legs and stuff, it just has standard 70 HP. On the torso and head, you get two times the damage, meaning probably around 140 HP. So if you hit someone on the head or torso, it's automatically a one hit kill. And most likely when you're sniping, you most likely hit the person on the torso. But if they're standing still, you hit them on the head. So basically, the Moors is considered as a one shot kill sniper rifle. The limbs... Of course, sometimes you might get unlucky and hit them on the legs or possibly the arms, though it's more easier to hit them on the legs. Of course, then you're going to get a hit marker, but as, as throughout my time using the Moors in Cold V Advanced Warfare, I rarely ever get a hit in the legs, and it's mostly in the torso, which is a one-hit kill. This fire mode, the fire mode is bolt action. The special thing about the bolt action is you only have one bullet in the clip. So yeah, magazine size is one round, but reload speed is fairly quick. It, imagine the... Um, Reload speed as the bolt action uh, intervention in, from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 if you're aware of what that is. Or the L96A1 from Black Ops, stuff like that. Or the MSR I believe, that's what it's called on MW3. Basically like that except instead of putting another uh, bullet for the clip, you're basically going onto a whole new magazine. Ammo capacity is 23 rounds so you always have, you always have one round in your magazine with 23 extra. Basically you have 24 shots but 46 max, meaning if you find ammo on the ground or if you have scavenger. So I don't think ammo, uh, ammo is a really big problem with the Moors, seeing as how it's a one-hit kill most of the time. Uh, hit marker if you are if you weren't very accurate or the guy's moving. So ammo shouldn't be a big problem. I wouldn't totally recommend scavenger, but of course, if you're someone that tends to go on really big kill streaks, scavenger, of course, is a good idea. Especially if you love to use that perk a lot and you're, you know you're fairly good at the, uh, the game. The... Uh, the Moors is, along with other sniper rifles, has about eight attachments. That's the ACOG scope, ver variable zoom scope, thermal, ballistic CPU, stock, tracker, parabolic microphone, and iron sights. This really depends on how you want to use the gun. If you want to use it like a standard rifle as opposed to a sniper rifle like the rail gun it is, you can use iron sights or ACOG scope. I personally don't like that. I feel like the gun should be used like a sniper rifle like the class it's in. So one of the attachments I definitely recommend is Ballistic CPU, reduces sway, even though the Moors is a, doesn't sway as much as other sniper rifles, it's still helpful. And the other one I'd probably go with is Stock, so you can move around quick. Tracker and Parabolic Microphone can prove to be useful too, if you don't really care about moving around quick with the scope, if you like to stay in one spot and snipe from there. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, comment below whether you like the Moors sniper rifle, whether you use any sniper sniper rifles what gun i should review next i'll catch you guys on the next video